It's another one of those like Monday morning, or I mean Monday. What the heck is that? Tuesday morning videos where I like head to school. This is like the worst day for like, wow. We just lost, oh man, my Joby's all over the place. Where we head to class. Because Tuesdays I've got to head, to, oh God, it's hot out, I put pants on. But I've got some good news for today. And I'm gonna go grab some food with my, one of my roommates and then, and then I'll tell you that good news. Always the move before class, which is firehouse sandwich. Uh, class starts in 34 minutes, so we are good on time today. Whenever I eat that, I just want to take a nap, though. We are now headed, well, I'm headed. He's headed to accounting. I'm headed to social welfare or something. It's like SW202, and I always say social welfare because that was, like, the name of the class when I signed up for it. It's just about, like, the history. Some I have to take a history class for business, so that's what it is. Oh, I walked past the car. Uh, for some reason, when I go to classes, it gives me, like, the mo it gives me the, the time to, like, scroll through a social media that I thought was dead, you know, I, I, that, that's, you know, that's, like, what I do in class, is scroll through the dead society of Facebook. And I kind of realized this morning that it might not be 100% dead, but I also came across something really interesting. So what that interesting topic was, was somebody was talking about, uh, they were talking about profanity and, like, where my... I don't know if it was specifically me or where some of the YouTubers have gone are are going in the fishing community because that's what my videos are based off of. I started fishing and then I kind of changed the daily vlogs because it seemed that I got more views, my sub growth went up extremely fast, and it was just it was easier for me to make content as well as become better at editing and using the software. So that's why I pretty much went to dailies. But somebody was saying how profanity takes away from these videos. I do not use profanity. I don't swear in any of my videos. Sure, I'm 19 years old. I swear in real life. Obviously, that's not a shock to probably any of you, but I don't put it in my videos because I know I have younger audiences. I know that all my videos are not being viewed by people over the age of 18 or a legal adult. So, people talking bad about us. I know, like, some Mike, Flair might put it... Some Everybody always slips a, flare, a swear word or puts swear words in their videos. To people who only watch fishing videos on YouTube, that might seem to a shock to you, but every other YouTube, gaming, comedy, oh, there goes that. But to any other, like, outlet there is, like, any other subcategory of YouTube that you, anybody else watches, everybody swears. I'm not going to start swearing in my videos. I don't think it's, sure, it could be funny, but it's not to the younger audience that doesn't understand what a swear word actually is. So I just want to talk about that, and I kind of just want to talk about people just talking crap, which I usually don't address, but I just read some comments today on Facebook, and I was like, wow. If I stuck to only fishing videos, I would not get as many views, I wouldn't get as many subscribers, I wouldn't grow to the rate I grew. So I think what I'm doing is fine. I love it. I'm not going to stop. But I wanted to address that just to do the fact that I was, I was using my time in social welfare to the best of my ability scrolling through Facebook. But if you guys want to follow me on Facebook, it's Alex Barrick Fishing at Facebook. I'll, I'll leave that up here somewhere. I've got one more class and then I'm gonna go then I'm gonna go edit the Smith Lake video that I haven't edited yet because I fell asleep last night. So that's that. I gotta do computer science and then I'll also talk about college kind of because I haven't really addressed college in a while. Tuesdays are pretty much the only days I ever attend class. But it was, it was a good day. It was a good day. I'm gonna edit a video like I said I was gonna do. I was sitting there for like 10 minutes trying to open it with my key and then realized that there was no lock on it. I finally put like a Joby on my camera and it looks like it's so much bigger but it's so much easier to vlog with. I don't know why I never even bought one of these. Oh wait, I never told you guys about the good news. Let's talk about the good news right now. It's crazy, I can't believe this actually happened. Okay, so as you guys know, Gunnersville, I lost a bunch of my equipment. Last night I got an email saying that a lady found it when they were fishing out there. She saw my video about it, I guess it was posted on some form, and she's gonna send it to me uh, back, in, back in Chicago, because this weekend I'm going 
back to Chicago to do some deer hunting. So everything worked out perfect. I got my case. Supposedly everything worked in there. I told her that she can keep the Hero 5 for being honest and sending back my gear, which is awesome. I appreciate it so much. Like, you don't even understand. Uh, I sent her some money for the shipping, and she's going to ship it out. So that is the good news for this Tuesday. Content, so much stuff on those SD cards. Like, there's a... There's not really that much stuff. There's just a cool flipping fish that I really wanted. And I'll probably just show that in a random vlog here. That's the good news. Now I'm going to edit this video. If you ever wonder why I'd never kind of set a time when my videos go up, it's because I like, I edit them like just in crazy, like whatever I can. You know, sometimes I'll stay up till 3 and edit. Last night was not one of those nights. So it's 4.30. I'll probably get this done by like 5.30. Then it has to upload, which usually takes an hour. Be up around 6.37. So that's why I don't set a time. Because it's just like, sometimes I don't get to sleep until... I won't get a chance to edit this till 1 in the morning because of the amount of things I've got to do. See that? An hour 36. That's just not going to work. So we're going to drive to get Wi-Fi. Because this house literally does not have any sort of Wi-Fi that wants to work whatsoever. I'm uploading it off my phone right now. So I just walked out to my car and the upload time went from two hours or an hour 50 or something to 30 minutes. It says 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is as you can tell, it's like a perfect time to get on a topwater bite. I don't have time to get the GoPros all set up and I don't even want to. I just want to go fishing for a little bit. So I'm just going to bring the vlogging camera and go to the pond right here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Earlier in this vlog, I kind of talked about when I got bored in class, I was on Facebook a little bit. One thing I kind of want to mention that I forgot to mention, and uh, one of my buddies, he's not really my really a close buddy, but I remember him telling me that don't hate on success or else will hate back on you. I think that's a really good kind of life lesson. There's obviously going to people, be people that are more successful than you, maybe in work, maybe in money-wise, maybe at fishing tournament fishing whatever it is you're always good at something that they're not so just take your strengths and use that to your advantage and don't hate on their success because when you hate on somebody else's success then stuff's not going to go your way see i was thinking i was hating on somebody too bad and i just got a backlash youtube has really kind of opened my eyes to that to be honest and the guy who's told me that is hector he owns optic gaming just a really motivational guy and i've just learned that through youtube you can't you can't let haters or people that do not like what you do let you down because there's obviously people that like what you do and that being said you just got to have thick skin and not not let facebook talk or any of that get in your way so that's my motivational speech right there with that great lighting i don't know why the lighting looks so good right here but it just looks great i really would love one to just come up and pop this this is that seven six defender it looks so nice in that sunset but that all set aside the reason why this came up was because i was venturing on the uh, facebook of the world hopefully you enjoyed that sequence where I, where I just rambled about my life. I've never been this product, most, never, never been this productive in my life. I like, I run 110, fall asleep, run on 110, the whole day long. And that's kind of how I do it. And people always ask me also about school. Yeah, I'm doing school. I'm not taking that many credits, but I'm doing school. I just kind of balance it. I might take next semester off to be 100% honest with you guys, but I haven't really made that decision yet. I'm just, I'm enjoying the time I have here with YouTube the relationships I'm building with companies and with individuals. I mean, I've made some of my good friends through YouTube. Uh, I spent a lot of time with these guys. So obviously it's, it's a fun thing. It's a fun thing to do. And that's my motivational tip for Tuesday. I might do motivational tips every Tuesday. I'm just kidding. Let's go, let's go to the meeting. All right, number one was John Davis Payton. <laughs> hey, blogger, or blog followers. Oh my God. Alex Perrick, 12th. Thank you. <laughs> Sick. And you get a life jacket and a rod. Sick. Nothing a little dirty. Wonder how that happened. off all their reels. We just got done with the meeting. We uh, actually last year the University of Alabama won the school of the year, so that's what they were doing out. They were giving out the prizes to the top 13 that scored points. I got like seventh, which I got some Cabela's gift cards and stuff. We're going to Smith tomorrow. That's the update. Any. How much? How many pounds are we gonna catch? Give him a, give him a prediction. Like eight. <laughs> I figured I'd end this video probably here just because the lighting in my light, the lighting in my room is not the best. But uh, we had a meeting tonight. It was fun. We just kind of went over school of the year, which is awesome because we won. So instead of me taking these Cabela's gift cards, 
instead of me taking these Cabela's gift cards, I'm not really a huge fan of Cabela's. And they're, they're actually about to go out of business, so you might got, whoever wins these, you might need to use them quick. But I've got two $25 gift cards. I'm going to give somebody in the comment section of them. So just comment, whatever you guys want to comment. And hit the, hit the like button, too, if you guys could. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you guys next time on another episode of AP Bassin'.